the increase in autism and the why behind it is a million dollar question. The belief is that there may be some genetic predisposition to autism, although the geneticists tell us that it can be anywhere between 20 and 100 genes that have to come together before we get a full-blown picture of autism. Well, maybe we might have some of those genes, but there's something then that will trigger the onset or turning on of those genes that tips a child over into an autism diagnosis. But we really don't know why we're seeing this tremendous number of, of children. The world is very divided on this. Thimerosal is a mercury derivative, and if you look at the signs and symptoms of mercury poisoning, it very much resembles autism. And that's why you have this connection here. Thimerosal has been out from the vaccines for over five years now and the rates of autism continue to climb over this past five-year period of time. It would appear that if you take thimerosal out from vaccines, the rates of autism should begin to decline. And we're really not seeing those rates decline. There are many parents, however, who feel that the children really did get toxic levels of thimerosal because they received so many vaccines, often two, three, four of them in one visit to the pediatrician and they feel that their child was poisoned. The government keeps doing studies saying that thimerosal has nothing to do with these fantastic rates of autism that we're seeing. And there's multiple studies that have come out that have said this. I think you should vaccinate children, but I think that it has to be done in a conservative way so that instead of receiving three or four vaccinations in one day, what you would do is that you would receive one vaccination, wait a period of approximately about a month to give your body time to respond to that vaccine and to make antibodies, and then you can introduce another vaccine after that. There is nothing more precious to a grandparent than their grandchild. So, I think that uh, I am a grandparent and I think that what the rights have done in terms of showing grandparents the power that rests within them is amazing. And so yes, to all the grandparents sitting out there, pick up your bag <laughs> and start mobilizing. Uh, get in touch with Autism Speaks. Find out what you can do. Find out what you can do on a grassroots level. Uh, find out how you can pressure local government, then pressure state government, and then pressure federal government. Because until your voice is heard, you're going to be dismissed. There are other voices competing for these dollars. So you do have to mobilize.